So hello everybody, my name is Kasper Klynge and I'm Denmark's tech ambassador, which is a relatively new invention. Uh, I've had this job for a little more than a year and it's actually Denmark's attempt to try and treat technology and digitalization as a foreign policy priority. And the reason why we think that is necessary is because of two sort of mega trends that we are witnessing uh, these years. Uh, the first one being that some of the big technology companies, and not only the ones in Silicon Valley, but also the ones in Asia, in India, in Europe, are becoming very, very large organizations and therefore also very influential organizations, not only towards you and me using our devices, but in fact also over international affairs, policies, etc. And we feel that we need a conversation uh, with the technology companies uh, on uh, what they're doing, uh, how they're doing it, uh, and also trying to exercise a bit of influence on the direction that their platforms uh, are taking. Uh, the second reason why we're doing this uh, tech diplomacy initiative, as we call it, um, is that uh, we think technology is going to be the key defining parameter on uh, global affairs. We think it will uh, uh, decide who will be the winners and losers of tomorrow. We think it will decide uh, the balance of power. Uh, if you look at something like artificial intelligence, it's evident that we'll see sort of a tectonic shift uh, from uh, the east to the west, or from the west to the east, depending on where you're sitting. Um, and some of these new, t new technologies are going to be as important as the economic powers or conventional weapons or even access to nuclear weapons. And those two mega trends uh, is one of the reasons why Denmark said, well, we need a, an ambassador for technology to engage with uh, the industry or with other countries and international organizations. Uh, and of course, that uh, implies also dealing and visiting a, a superpower like India, which is the reason I'm here. One of the challenging things about being uh, uh, the world's only tech ambassador, and I spend most of my time sitting in Palo Alto in Silicon Valley in California, is of course that I'm uh, quite lonely. Um, there are no other tech ambassadors around, so actually one of my success criteria is to get other countries to appoint tech ambassadors or appoint ambassadors with a similar mandate. Uh, because the truth is we uh, come from a very, very small country, uh, quite far away in the northern part of, uh, of Europe. And we fully understand that we, we're not able to fix these fundamental uh, questions, which is also about the democracy, it's about human rights, it's about governance uh, issues. So we need more countries around uh, the table, and, and that's one of the reasons I'm having consultations in a lot of capitals to try and convince uh, countries to uh, treat technology in a more systematic and structured way, uh, having a platform similar to, to what uh, Denmark is doing. And I've been now in India for, for four days, and uh, I think it's quite evident that uh, when we look at some of the big values, uh, the approach to technology, you know, in, in Denmark and in Europe, we're promoting a human-centered uh, approach or even a democratic approach to technology. And I find there is a, a very big opportunity for collaboration with, uh, with India on this uh, issue. I've heard over the last couple of days uh, very similar uh, views being ex expressed on, on how you are introdu introducing new technology, whether it's the Adhar system or whether it's the digital uh, stack approach. And I think actually we need to forge an alliance uh, between India and Europe. And I think that's going to be incredibly important in the 21st century.